Hey, I'm Mark Oldman. Today we're talking about the wines I'm going to teach at the Aspen Classic and why 1982, check out the dress, is a year you should know. Hi, I'm Nancy Spears with GenConnect.com and today I have the privilege of talking to Mark Oldman and we're here at the Food and Wine Classic. Mark is a wine expert and an author and hi Mark. Hey, great to be here. Thank you. So, what's with the red? <laughs> well, the uh, pleather, very uncomfortable pleather, and, and, and the red here is to celebrate 1982. It's the 30th year of uh, food and wine at Aspen. And also, 1982 was a watershed year in wine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's when Robert Parker made his name, and kind of when wine went from crotchety, kind of, kind of a few collectors who weren't very generous to being much more accessible. That's when the accessibility began. And in my seminars, I'm serving 82 wine as a special bonus for my students. Fantastic. Yeah. So, and what are you teaching about t here today? Yeah, so um, in my classes um, at, Aspen Cla at the Aspen Classic, I'm doing um, bubbly, but bubbly outside of champagne. A lot of people don't realize that, you know, outside of Champagne, especially since 1982, uh, there are regions all around the world, uh, you name it, Australia, uh, South Africa, uh, Italy, uh, that are doing delicious bubblies. And because they're not as well known for bubbly, the United States, California, mm -hmm. bubbly is so unsung that it comes as, at, at a discount. Champagne, which I love is terrific, but you're paying for that luxury good. Mm -hmm. But if you can get 70% of the joy at 30% of the price, that's really good. Absolutely, and even if you're starting out, you know, you're, you're out of college, you're starting to entertain, you know, in business and whatever, you can't afford a big, you know, $100 bottle of champagne, but exactly. you still have bubbling. Exactly, if you're having a lot of people over, people will just, be excited by the bubbly. You don't have to pay for the, the Dom Perignon um, for most people who won't even appreciate it. Although, you know, if someone else is paying for it, you know, I'll, I'll take a sip. Absolutely. <laughs> so, and tell us real quick, so your book, Brave New World of Wine, tell us a little bit about what's in the book. So this comes from the heart and I spent, I tell people I spent way too much time on this because I want people, I want this book to over deliver. It talks about this world we live in where it used to be Burgundy and Bordeaux and California and now it's everywhere, Greece and New Zealand and Slovenia and places where it's hard to pronounce but it's a better value and it can pro provide adventure and delight. So I make it really easy. I tell people I'm the on-ramp for those who are sophisticated but still feel like they know nothing about wine. Fantastic. Well, I can't wait to read it, and it is such a pleasure to meet you, and thank you so much, Mark, for sharing some of your wisdom about wine. It's my honor to be here. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.